Hello everybody, today we will cook just a giant beluga weighing in at 50 kilograms. But first, let's take a high pressure sink and thoroughly wash it. We also knocked off all the slime from the fish. Our beluga is clean and we can move to the studio. From this hefty monster, we decided to cook three dishes in different styles, namely in the American, British, and Chinese style. Let's start with cutting. We cut under the fid to the ridge. Then we turn the fish over. And we repeat the same thing. It remains to just cut the thick ridge. And you can remove the head. We also removed all the insides from the fish. The next step is to cut the spikes from the back. We separate the fillet from the ridge. So the ridge was removed. Now you need to cut out the ribs. That's it, we get clean meat on the skin. The segments are two wide pieces. And we remove the skin from them. We're left with a clean fillet. And that's what happens after cutting into our fish. For our American style dish, we cut the fillet into six strips, slightly cutting them to the end. Sprinkle with smoked paprika, salt and sugar, oregano, and chili pepper. Thoroughly rub the spices into the fish. And now we're going to weave a pigtail out of it. We fix all this with a skewer. And send it all into the smoker. We pour coal into the next department. And ignite it.
We'll use fruit tree chips that are poured into foil and roll it up as tightly as possible. This bundle will make smoke and smoke our fish. We make holes in it. And put it on top of the coals. All compartments are closed. But the smoker, on the contrary, is left open. We will smoke it off for three hours. In the meantime, let's make a spread. We send barbecue sauce, a teaspoon of honey, and orange juice into a bowl. Knead it until smooth. Three hours have passed and our fish has already been smoked. We're gonna lubricate it for an even more beautiful crust. We leave it for another half an hour. The result is a such a beautiful golden pigtail. We take it out of the smokehouse directly with the grill. Let's try it. It turned out just perfect. All the spices are on point and of course has a smoky aroma. For the second course, we've got our British style and we're gonna chop some wood. And light our stove in advance. It'll warm up for about two hours. In the meantime, let's cut off the floorlets of broccoli. We take a bottle of boiling water and send in the floorlets. Literally two minutes and they become light green in color. You can take them out. Squeeze out all excess moisture and throw them into the blender. Add some nuts, cilantro, and chop it all up nice. Pour the resulting mass into a bowl and continue to grind the broccoli. Now we're left with a whole bowl of broccoli mush. We take the fish fillet and salt it well. The salt should be rubbed into the meat. And we fold the piece two times. We dust the table with flour. We unfold the yeast buff pastry. Take another sheet and just connect them with our fingers. And here we've got a third sheet. Spread some nori sheets on top of the dough. Sprinkle them with salt. Then a layer of the broccoli mush. We poured some salt just for this. We spread the fish out. Carefully wrap it up in the nori. And then in the dough. We bind the edges and bend them. 
Now you can transfer all this to a baking sheet. We roll out another layer of dough. And make small incisions at the same distance from each other. That way you're left with a grid. We cover our future fish wellington with it. We stretch the grid so that the cells become larger. Cut off any excess dough and bend the rest. Done. They can be sent into the oven. Now we close it. We'll bake that for an hour and a half at 200 degrees. And you can get the Beluga Wellington. It turned out beautifully. We put it on a board and cut it in half. Everything inside is baked. Now we need to try it. The taste is less saturated than in the first dish, but nevertheless, it's also delicious. And for the last dish in our Chinese style, we will use the largest piece of fish. To do this, we make incisions in the skin. It should work out like this. Now we'll repeat this with the second half. Now we light a fire. We put a large bath on top. Fill it up with oil. While the oil is heating up, we make a sauce. To do this, we kindle a mini oven. First, we melt quite a lot of honey. We're also gonna need some apple cider vinegar, a whole pack of ketchup, sweet chili sauce, and sesame oil. Knead all this until smooth. Done. Now we send two kilograms of cornstarch into the basin. It needs to cover the entire surface of the fish. Done. Now we put this piece on the grill. And immerse it all into the oil.
It will take about 10 minutes for it to fry. And we raise it all up so that all the oil falls off. And we're left with a very crispy crust. We put the second half of the fish on the grill. And also immerse it in hot oil. It's ready. You can put it onto the table and add our sauce. Well, let's try our fish in Chinese. We dip the crispy cube into the sauce and taste it. Guys, this is freaking delicious. Such an oriental sweet and sour taste. Thanks, of course, to the sauce. Like and subscribe to this channel, you guys, and bye, everybody.